Hello kids. I hope you all are doing fine. Today, I am going to teach you the method of long division with the help of a code. This code is very simple children. And whenever you have any doubt or whenever you forget the steps, you can always look at this code and revise the division concept. Now let's see what this code is. This code is DSBD. The full form of this code is Daddy Sings Baby Dance. Yes, in multiplication we, take, we took the help of Mama. But in long division we will take the help of Daddy. So, Daddy Sings Baby Dance. Now, in this code, a secret code is hidden. A secret division code is hidden. What is that? That is D for divide. S for subtract. With B, it is bring. And with D, it is down. So you have to learn this secret code that is divide, subtract, bring, down. Daddy sings baby dance. So let's see an example that how this secret code works. Remember children, we have to follow this rule. Daddy sings baby dance. Divide, subtract, bring, down. Now let's see this question. 68 divided by 2. 68 is the dividend and 2 is the divisor. The first thing which we have to see is look at the first digit. This digit should be either equal to or bigger than the divisor. Now this is 6. So 6 is bigger than 2. So we are going to put a dot over here. This means that we are taking single digit first to divide it by 2. So what is the first step? The first step is divide. B for divide. Now 6 is divided by 2. So you should see where 6 comes in the table of 2. 2 1's are 2, 2 2's are 4, 2 3's are 6. So it is 2 times 3 is 6. Second step is subtract. Divide is over. Second step is subtract. So now you have to subtract. 6 minus 6 is 0. Now second step is also over. Let's go to the next step. Next step is bring down. So what you have to bring down? You have to bring down the next number. The next number is 8. So you have to bring down 8. Now, after bringing down, you have to start this whole process again. What was the first step? Divide. So let's divide. What is this number? This is 8. So you have to check where 8 comes in the table of 2. So 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 4 is 8. So 2 times 4 is 8. Second step is subtract. 8 minus 8 is 0. So this means now, this 
is the quotient and this is the remainder. Q is 34 and remainder is 0. Now let's move to the other question. First you have to put a dot. 8 is bigger than 4. So you're going to put a dot on 8. This means you have to divide only single digit 8 with 4. So 4 times 2 is 8. Second step is subtraction. 8 minus 8 is 0. Third step is bring down. So you have to bring down 9. Now kids, again, after bringing down, you have to start from the first step. And the first step is divide. So let's divide 9 by 4. Kids, you know the table of 4. 4's are 4, 4 twos are 8. And 4 threes are 12. So clearly, 9 doesn't come in the table of 4. So you have to take a smaller number than 9, which comes in the table of 4. You cannot take 12, because this 12 is bigger than 9. So you have to take 8, because 8 is the smallest number closest to 9. So 4 times 2 is 8. Now after dividing, you need to subtract. 9 minus 8 is 1. Now you do not have any other number to bring down. So we will stop here. Now the question is 22 and the remainder is 1. Now let's move to another example children. 37 divided by 5. 37 is the dividend and 5 is the divisor. Now first we have to put a dot. 3 is smaller than 5. So we cannot take only single digit. Whereas 37 is bigger than 5. So we need to take 2 digit to be divided first. So now first step is divide. So we need to check where 37 comes in ta the table of 5. We already know that 5 5s are 25, 5 6 are 30, 5 7s are 35 and 5 8s are 40. So clearly 37 doesn't come in the table of 5. Now we have to see the smaller number. 40 we cannot take because it is bigger than 37. So we need to take 35. So 5 7 sir, 35. Second step is subtract. So we will subtract. 7 minus 5 is 2. And 3 minus 3 is 0. So I am not writing 0. Because the value will be 2 only. Now there is nothing to bring down. So we will not move to the third step. Here the quotient is 7 and the remainder is 2. Now let's move to the other one. 45 divided by 9. We need to put a dot first. So 4 is smaller than 9. So we will not take only 4. Rather, we will take 45. So now we have to check where 45 comes in the table of 9. So let's see. 9 1s are 9, 9 2s are 18, 9 3s are 27, 9 4s are 36, 9 5s are 45. 
So it's very simple. 9 times 5 is 45. What is the second step? Second step is subtraction. So we need to subtract. 45 minus 45 is 0. So in this case, the quotient is 5 and the remainder is 0. The same procedure will be followed in 3 digit by 1 digit division also. Let's check how. First we have to put a dot. So 6 is bigger than 4. So we can divide it. So I'm going to put a dot on 6. Now we have to divide 6 by 4. We know that 4 1s are 4, 4 2s are 8. So clearly 6 is not coming in the table of 4. So we are going to take the smaller one. We cannot take 8 because it is bigger than 6. So we will take 4 times 1, 4. Second step is subtraction. 6 minus 4, 2. Third step is bring down. So we will bring down 1. Now the number is 21. Please do not take only 1. Take the full number that is 21. Now we have to check where 21 comes in the table of 4. So we know that 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 4 is 16. And 4 times 6 is 24. So 21 is clearly not coming in the table of 4. So we need to take a smaller number. The smaller number is 20. So 4 times 5 is 20. Now we will subtract, which is the second step. 21 minus 20. 1 minus 0 is 1. 2 minus 2 is 0, which I am not writing because it will be the same. Step is bring down. So we will bring down 2. Now the number is 12. We know that 4 times 3 is 12. So the first step is division. 4 times 3 is 12. Second step is subtraction. 12 minus 12 is 0. Now we do not have any number to bring down, so we'll stop here. Now the question quotient is 153 and the remainder is 0. Now let's practice question 368 is divided by 8. So we need to see that this single digit 3 is smaller than 8. So we need to take 36. So I'll put a dot here. Now 36. Where 36 comes in the table of 8? So we are dividing. We know that 8 1s are 8, 8 2s are 16, 8 3s are 24 and 8 4s are 32. Also 8 5s are 40. So clearly 36 is not coming in the table of 8. So we will be taking 32. We cannot take 40 because it is bigger than 36. So we will be taking 32. So 8 times 4 is 32. Now second step is subtraction. So we are going to subtract. 6 minus 2 is 4. 3 minus 3 is 0. Now second step, I mean third step is bring down. So we are going to bring down 8. Now 48 divided by 8. Because after bringing down we will follow the first step again. So 48 divided by 8. Now you have to check where 48 comes in the table of 8. So 4 times 5 is 40. Uh, sorry. 8 times 5 is 40. And 8 times 6 is 48. Eight. So 8 times 6 is 48. 
second step is subtraction 48 minus 48 is 0 so now we will stop here because we do not have any other number to bring down the quotient is 46 and the remainder is 8 now kids I am giving you few questions to try it yourself you can pause the video kids and try out these questions. I hope you liked the video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.